Hello there, this is Jennifer Roberts with a tutorial on using X-Plane 11. Today we'll take a look at ATC, including the changes coming in the X-Plane 1130 update. This video was recorded using a preview copy of X-Plane 1130 B1. First, let's take a look at the air traffic control settings. You can have text, verbal, or both types of ATC messages enabled depending on what you check here. By default, ATC text and verbal messages should both be enabled. I've started a flight at the Demo Airport Seattle Tacoma or KSEA. I'm on a GA ramp with our default Cessna 172. We'll walk through the steps on setting up a flight plan and contacting ATC for clearance and taxi instructions. To get started, press the return or enter key to bring up the ATC window. Note that if you hit the enter key and you get a box like this, it is a chat box and this means you have multiplayer enabled. Turn this off in network settings to get the ATC window back. Press the button File Flight Plan to specify the info about your flight. X-Plane 1130 has a revised ATC voice system that is much more flexible than ever before. This also means there are a few new fields in this window. The aircraft identification box will list our C-172's tail number by default, but you can change this if you wish. Pick the aircraft manufacturer and model from the drop-downs here. These are the new fields that ATC will use to identify your aircraft when they talk with you. You can specify the airline and flight number if you wish, but I will leave them empty as they're not required for our purposes right now. The departure IKO field is filled in for us with our current location, so we'll fill in our destination airport, which is going to be the nearby Boeing Field KBFI. I'll fill in my en route altitude as 3000. I'm going to leave the route blank because we want to go direct, but you could also enter any NDB, VOR, FIX, or Airway to get real routings. I'm going to go ahead and check the Auto-Tune Recommended Frequencies box. When combined with the Departure Wizard, which is already enabled by default, it makes the ATC process very straightforward and easy to use. You can always tune your radios by hand or by double-clicking on a line in this ATC window if you prefer. Let's request altimeter. Skyhawk 2, Sierra, Papa, Seattle, altimeter 2. Now we need to read back the transmission. Note that if I press the read back transmission button while ATC is still talking, I hear a beep. This indicates the line is in use, and I have to wait to try again. You can also use the repeat last transmission button if you need to hear ATC's instructions again. Now we can request clearance and read back those instructions. Skyhawk 2, Sierra, Papa, cleared IFR2, Boeing Field King County International, as filed, maintain 3,000, squawk 4, 7, 0, 0. Cleared IFR2, Boeing Field King County International, as filed, maintain 3,000, squawk 4, 7, 0, 0, Skyhawk 2, Sierra, Papa. The auto-tune option has already switched our COM1 frequency for us, so we can also request taxi now as well. Skyhawk 2, Sierra, Papa, runway 1, 6, left, taxi via, Quebec, Tango, Charlie, hold short of runway 1, 6, center. Runway 1, 6, left, taxi via, Quebec, Tango, Charlie, hold short. Acknowledge the clearance as before, and then look around you. You'll see yellow arrows painted on the ground directing you to where you should go. Where the arrows stop, you must also stop and wait for further instructions. These arrows are enabled by default, but you can additionally turn them off in the settings if you prefer. Taxi to where the arrows are taking you. When you reach the side of the runway, ground will instruct you to contact the tower and auto-tune the frequency once you respond. Skyhawk 2, Sierra, Papa, contact tower on 119.90. Contact tower on 119.90, Skyhawk 2, Sierra, Papa. Check in with this new controller. This is how you tell the controller you're now on their frequency and waiting for their command. If there are AI aircraft using the runway, you will probably have to wait until they are done. This may take some time. Cross runway 1, 6, center, hold short of runway 1, 6, left, Skyhawk 2, Sierra, Papa. 
After that, Tower will call you and give you your takeoff clearance. Skyhawk, 2, Sierra, Papa, fly heading, 1, 4, 0, runway, 1, 6, left, you're clear for takeoff. Respond and then depart. Unless otherwise instructed, fly the runway heading up to your cleared altitude of 3,000 feet. Once you're in the air, you'll have additional options to cancel your flight plan or to request a missed approach. At some point, you will be handed off to the center controller. Check in as you did before. Continue on your heading and altitude, and eventually center will begin vectoring you to an approach at your destination of KBFI. Once the approach is set up, you will be handed off to KBFI's tower for landing, and the process continues until you've arrived back at the gate. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.